Welcome to another episode of Off-Road Hub. My name is Ken. Thank you so much for watching. Today, I'm going to remove my snorkel that I just installed about a year ago. Now, as you probably know, snorkels are kind of a hotly debated accessory. Um, I am not anti-snorkel. I think snorkels can be useful, just like all the other accessories that we install on our vehicles and we, we carry with us. Um, I believe that they are useful in certain situations. Now, how many times has the snorkel saved my engine from water intrusion on all the trails I've done? Never. Not a single time, but I have proven to myself that uh, the snorkel is very effective at keeping uh, the air that's going into the engine cleaner. That dust can clog an air filter so much that an engine won't run anymore. This is my air filter. I just pulled it out of the air box and there's a little bit of dust in it, you can see, but not very much dust. So why do I want to remove my snorkel? Well, that's a good question, and I think my circumstances are fairly unique. As you may know from my trail videos, I tend to hit trails pretty hard, and uh, I also have hit the snorkel pretty hard, and that is causing body damage. The fender is damaged. Uh, all the way all the way throughout and not just because I drilled holes in the fender but because I just hit the snorkel on things um, too often apparently and that damage is even uh, apparent up here on the mount on the a-pillar right here you can see it's it's dented in a little bit up there too because I'm just always catching this thing on rocks and mud walls and everything else now, I'm not 100% certain that I will never put a snorkel back on um, because after the build, the tire is going to come out quite a bit, probably probably to like out here or so. And that might provide, that might provide enough uh, distance from, the, from obstacles and things to the body that I won't hit the snorkel on things anymore. Um, I'm not sure, but I, I guess I'll determine that after the build is done. But for now, um, I'm going to take it off and I've got a brand new fender to replace the one uh, that the snorkel was on and the one that the snorkel damaged. So that'll be good as new. I got this off of eBay for a couple hundred bucks pre-painted, so not too bad a deal. And this other side that's been damaged for so long, I've got a new fender for that side too. Now if you want to see how to install a snorkel, Check out my installs playlist and you'll find the video in which I install this snorkel. It's pretty entertaining. I screw up a little bit, so it's fun to watch. Uh, but now I'm just gonna get this thing off here. Take out the air box, pull this uh, liner out of the wheel well, and then uh, we can unbolt the snorkel. All right, let's take a look at the uh, effect of having a snorkel on your fender. Uh, you can see it's collected some, some schmutz and uh, kind of a big pile of stuff right here. And uh, this is 
just after being on for uh, probably just under a year. But you can see the body damage a little bit better now. And uh, it's, not, it's not too pretty. Up here on the A-pillar, you can see where the snorkel is pushed in a little bit. So, um, like I said, I'm not anti-snorkel. I don't hate snorkels. I think they can be effective uh, at cleaning air, if not saving your engine from floods of water. <clears throat> but if you're doing a lot of rock crawling, if rock crawling is your thing, and you get a lot of off camber and narrow trails and stuff, I don't know. I might not recommend a snorkel for you. So with the snorkel, you can see the hole right there for it and the intake box right there. Hopefully you can see that. Lighting is horrible here in the garage. But um, so this pipe right here, when you have the snorkel installed, um, it goes in here between the air box and the snorkel. So it completely cuts out any air or anything else coming in right here as opposed to the factory intake that looks like this and it goes in here like this just like that it bolts up and fits onto the hole right there and air gets sucked in from this fender area and then a plastic cover that I, you saw me pull out when I was taking the snorkel off goes right here so it's cold air intake factory. It's not sucking it from uh, inside the engine compartment, which is good. But uh, yeah, that's what the factory air intake looks like. Now, sometimes I get comments uh, asserting that, well, I don't care about body damage anyway, which I do care about body damage especially when it causes a problem. And the problem that this was causing was that this was getting deformed and interfering with opening and closing the door here. So that doesn't work for me. I need to be able to open and close my doors. That's kind of a big deal. So I do care about body damage. All right, guys, well, here's the old snorkel. Uh, it's still in one piece, which is kind of amazing. This is the ARB Safari Snorkel which is uh, the pricey one. It's not a $100 eBay snorkel. And I'm kind of glad that I got the expensive one because I've been able to put basically the weight of the vehicle on the snorkel and it hasn't broken on me in the middle of a trail. I don't know if the $100 eBay ones will stand up to that or not, but um, the, AR the ARB Safari Snorkel is definitely a high quality, um, high quality accessory. Whether or not you want to put it on your vehicle, I leave that up to you. Again, I'm not really anti-snorkel. I'm not really super pro snorkel either. I'm kind of lukewarm on it, to be honest. So I don't know if I'll ever put it back on, I may, but uh, we'll just have to see how the, the tires and everything fit after, after the solid axle swap and see if a snorkel fits into what I'm doing. It probably won't, honestly, but uh, we'll just have to see. All right, guys, well, I'm going to leave this fender on here for right now so I don't have to worry about banging up my new fender when I'm doing my, all my building that's coming up. And uh, I need to get some clips and things from the dealer anyways to, to get it on there securely, which I don't have right now. But anyways, after the build, it's going to have brand new front fenders on the front, so uh, a little bit less body damage, at least to start out with. Now, when it comes to snorkels, if you're going to be doing a lot of rock crawling and there's a chance you, you're going to hit that snorkel on some rocks, um, or there's a chance you're going to hit it on some trees, or whatever it may be, I don't know if I can suggest installing a snorkel on your vehicle. If you don't foresee that happening, if you don't get that close to trees and rocks and walls and things like that, then a snorkel can be a really great thing. It, I, I do believe that it keeps your 
the air coming into your engine uh, cleaner. Uh, so, and there is a chance that it could save your engine from sucking up water. Even if it only does that one time in the life of your vehicle, then the snorkel was worth it. So again, I'm not anti-snorkel. If, uh, if you like how they look and you're not going to do any really hardcore things where you might bang against it, then I'm all for it. Install a snorkel. Anyways, thanks for coming along today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already so I can share new content with you every Monday and Thursday. And we'll see you next time.